Hey guys, so I see I'm bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that take a Smurf account for a shakeout never played rank before and show you the adventure to Diamond to return. Plat 5 in promo. This is the decider game. Don't go to the end of the game and find out. Watch the game. I'm, I'm warning you. Anyway, just to kind of say, because some people be like, wasn't the, you know, the Shaco last game? I just literally checked. That is not the same Shaco. Uh, this is just literally after that last game, um, 10 minutes ago. But yeah, okay. from mid lane again. Wait, did I get all? No, I didn't go off build. Wait, what? I didn't even think I queued up as mid lane. Okay, I must have. Um, not really sure who I'm going to play. Uh, nothing spring. Like, again, last game I was just randomly in the mood to play Fizz. Don't know why. I was like, I want to play him. I don't really have that anymore with anything else. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe a Swain game? But I, I'm not sure. Oh, no. Ar Ooh. Do I have Ari? No. What? I don't own Ari? Uh, no! <laughs> this is the decider game if I get promoted or not. And a guy just blind picked Teemo in top lane. Or just picked Teemo in general. <sighs> right, hang on. Where is it? Hang on. Change of hat. We need change of hat. It's happening. Hang on. Oh, oh. Perfect. <laughs> what am I playing? Uh, let's just do Swain. Screw it. Let's try and get fed. Oh, man. I'm, I'm pre Again, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may not know exactly why I put this on. This is what we call the tilt hat on Huzzy Games. If I'm tilted, I put this on. Just as a little tradition, I'm preemptively putting it on. Um, as a warning. <laughs> oh no, and they picked Aurelian! And not, not that long ago, I had a video title called We've, I Finally Found the Count of the Swain, Aurelian Soul. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Got a Teemo top, got a Shaco in the jungle, got an Aurelian against me in mid lane. <sighs> it's already going to pot, everybody. Ah, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Ah, oh, Blitzcrank, okay. May as well go for the full wham. You know, either we get fed or we feed. Um, This is going to be great. Ooh, Moo Cow. That's not good for us. <laughs> if he hooks a Moo Cow in the late game. God, our comp, it doesn't exist. What, do our, what does our comp do? I'm going to go teleport. Do I have a skin? No. Yeah, we don't really have like any like comp. I guess picks, that's our thing. Blitzcrank hook, Shaco grab, might E. We're basically looking for picks against a team fight comp. This should go well. Let's get into today's game. We're playing Swain in the mid lane. All right, welcome to the loading screen. So let's go from top to bottom. On my team, we've got a D5 Teemo, Plat 1 Shaco. We've got me in Plat 5. That is in promo. That hasn't updated. I've got one more victory in that promo. Platinum 2 Lucian and a Platinum 1 Blitzcrank has never played Blitzcrank in at least this season. Enemy team, Diamond 5. Maokai has not played him. Whoa. Uh, Plat 2, Plat 3, Plat 3, D5. So the enemy bot lane doesn't have any experience. But my opponent in mid lane looks to be a one-trick Aurelian and looks to be quite good. And the annoying thing is, obviously, is I picked Swain and I just so happen to be against an Aurelian one-trick. They hardly exist. And yet Aurelian is one of the best champions versus Swain. So, and a lot of it, if you're wondering why, is the range difference. Uh, Swain is very low range. Aurelian basically can keep me at distance. And, uh, yeah. Wait. Where did my summon airy go? Did they just fly away? What happened? I have no idea. I just thought I thought saw like a blue thing like go over there. I don't know really what we're doing. Um. Yeah. Never Ooh. make a bargain. Right. So he has ignite. Oh, he's here. Can we go for a flash play? I would not ask of anyone I would not do myself. Come on. Oh. They were expecting an invade. They were like here. I swear, man, Malka and um, Blitzcrank should have gone for that flash play. That would have been really good, I reckon. Because he doesn't have a, a survival summoner, so he, he himself would have had to blow flash. And that's a pretty big deal against a Shaco in the early game. 
Oh, I didn't take anything. Lol. Alright, so, and obviously another reason why, um, you can't push against him. So, it's a pretty awful matchup for Swain. Like, he's killed all six minions before I've killed one. Cool. <laughs> Literally nothing I can do about that. So, this is the guy that has an 80% win rate. And obviously, obviously he's a smurf of some kind. If he's going to play this aggro, I kind of wish I took Ignite. So I had to protect that Shaco there, but it, I didn't really lose anything from it. Build. Um, I think I might go the tier build this game because again, I think I had to do the exact same thing last time I was against Aurelian because his pushing power is so goddamn strong. Um, you need to have like mana to keep up with him, otherwise you'll just get pushed in the whole game. My only thought at the moment is, do I go a build that I've never really done before? Oh, look, a team are being useless. Wait, what is that? Why did you start cull? I'm getting trolled. Pity stays the hand of the merciful, but not mine. Wow. That just annoys me now. An enemy has been slain. Kindred's above me somewhere. Me to play fairly. We aren't even playing the same game. What? This will make them stay. Making him go back is pretty good for me, because I've got teleport, he doesn't. Okay, he didn't go back. Yeah, of course he's going to be marked again. Why wouldn't she just farm him? There's a reason I put this hat on. I was like, no way that she'd be that cocky to do that. Not against a shaker. No, we're doing pretty well, actually. Again, this lane should be going a lot more in favour of him. It's not because he's been kind of mucking around quite a lot. So she's changed her mark. Oh! Oh. Um, this might be a bit risky. A riddle wrapped in a mystery, hidden within us all. This dude must roam a hell of a lot, man. It's a rallying. That's all he's really doing. Okay, so he's not very good. What the hell was that? That's desperation to get ahead. Maybe he's used to like getting ahead in the early game and he's just not getting ahead. What? What's his plot? Like, I'm so confused. Random flash, random ignite. Huh? We are at war. Do not forget it. This is odd. I really hope I don't get dove here. I'm really weirded out at the moment. Timo might be dead again. I'm not surprised. It's a Timo. Okay, uh, Aurelian, no sums. Let's get boots, because again, movement speed is quite important against him. 
because he's a movement based champion so you kind of have to be movement based as well if you want to try and like do the best against him hmm so he's roaming again this is like all this guy does with dark seals He's got the right wall too. If he comes back into like my range. Damn, I was desperate for that myself. Too desperate. Oh, the cow. I was too desperate for that. I thought my E hit, but it didn't. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm getting weirded out by this game. I need to stop getting weirded out because it's making me play worse. It's just a really weird play style and a really weird build. He's roaming again. It is kind of easy to counter somebody who's roaming 24-7 because you know they're going to be roaming 24-7. Destiny marches like any man. Might have a ward somewhere. Where's the Kindred? Wow, really? That's good. But Kindred's definitely top lane. If Shaken can get there, just blind her? Blind, yeah. Then Shaker gets there. Oh, wow, she didn't have the erection time to ult. That's pretty bad from that Kindred. She hit level 6 and then should have ulted straight away. Like, again, people in this type of rating should be able to have the reaction time to control um, control R straight into level up. And then... Um, thingy. Well, that looks good. Hell yeah, there we go. Give me your soul. That ignite just ruined my day. I need more movement speed. This is going to be the first time I've ever built this on him. I need more movement speed. Because if he keeps me at a perfect range, I can't do anything. Like, that was literally the most perfect thing that Aurelian could have done. He kept me perfect range of his W, and yeah. My only way of surviving that, that was just not be there in the first place. Damn. So I'm building movement speed this game. Also, I might do a build that I've never done before. And I actually don't think it's that good. I'm actually tempted to go Rod of Ages this game. Usually I would never do it. Because I don't think that's what New Swain kind of is. I think New Swain is a burst mage. Also, they probably are doing that. Which is really bad. Um, but this game might call for it. I might need to be tankier this game. Giving up that is just really bad. Uh, we're basically like a two pure damage team comps minus one person on each team. Actually, no, it's actually... Infernal Dragon is worth more for us than them. Because they've got two tanks, we've got one. So, yeah. Diving top lane is quite risky because Aurelian's quite quick. Trying to bait them because they don't know Shaco's here. The shadows of our empire they do now. Damn, I wish we could have got a kill there. They are blind to the <sighs> Presume he's rushing Riley. Again, the whole champion's about like keeping people where you want them. So. Yeah, 
Did she not die? Because I hit that W. If, you, if you're unaware, I hit that W. Kindred R. Not Kindred R, Kindred Passive. Uh, the she's asked. Of the kindred seek you. Feel yeah. good to make things again. That was bad. Never make a bargain with a human <laughs> that you intend to keep. This is an odd game. Hmm. Past two games have been kind of odd. I guess that's like good and bad. So Maokai's going all in on the Teemo. I guess the minions is the reason why he's doing it, but that's still not really going to work, surely. Yeah. Maokai could be doing so much better. Again, a lot of people don't understand when it comes to Teemo in lane, the way you beat Teemo in lane is you don't try to beat Teemo in lane. The whole point of that champion is to bully people and stuff like that. Ignore him. Like, literally just ignore that champion and you're basically winning because he is designed to deny others. And if you just don't give him the luxury of kind of doing his thing, you'll win. After the battle, the not here, not yet. Moo cow. Okay, I'm starting to get into this game by roaming myself. So Aurelian's roamed early. He didn't get that much from his roams. I'm actually getting quite a lot from my roams. And then he's like kind of raging. Submit. What? He didn't die? Wow. That was surprising. Oh! Oh my god, I actually predicted it right as well. Imagine if I got him with that. I predicted exactly where he was, it just didn't go off quick enough. Oh! So close. Uh oh. Oh, that would have been really good. If he's all typing and like, you know, raging at people, if I got that kill, oh, it would have sent him over the edge. Again, let people tilt themselves. It's the, the best thing to do. It's the easiest way to win league games is just use people's own stupidity against them. I peer through the darkness. Good kill, but he is going to be potentially 2v3. Moo cow. What is going on this game? So Teemo is probably just going to stay top the whole game. And now he potentially is going to die to a Rallyan. Yep. Please don't suicide to him, Teemo. Because a Rallyan can kill a Teemo really easily. Because, like, the AoE. Yeah, so... Teemo kind of just gave Aurelian a free kill. You know, he could definitely have got away there, but he overstayed, even though I pinged. And now he's FML. Well, I, I warned you! <laughs> you could have got away! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. T I will say, and some people probably would have saw it straight away, whenever I have a team on my team, it puts me in a bad mood instantly. And I know to a lot of people that won't make sense. Everybody in League, no matter who you are, you have some champions that you just simply just dislike. Teemo is probably my ultimate one of those. Like, I just dislike people who play him. I dislike the champion in general. I hate everything about it. Obviously, I've got the hat. I hate that too. But again, it's the, it's the gimmick of, like, the tilt hat. He might have had that warded. If he didn't have that warded, that was kind of weird. Oh, man. Can we CC? CC? Uh, I played that pretty poop, I'm going to be honest. Oh, 
One can read the future in battle life. Soon one can read the Hmm. That was messy. Riff, that was a good shout. This is really okay. Damn. Randomly basing. All right, this is next. See, I I don't think I've ever built. Well, no, I built Rod of Ages a couple times on him. And I've always not done as much, but this is the type of game that I think I've got to suck it up and kind of go, mm. it's that type of game that I just need to survive more than doing burst. Which is, it makes it more boring, obviously, but... And that is why, by the way, you see the differentiation of top lane Swain versus mid lane Swain. When you're watching top lane Swain, they pretty much always buy Rod, because top lane is a more needing su to survive role uh, than mid. Mid is all about, like, I want to maximize my damage, where top is like, I need to be a little bit tanky. So the risk we run in with a Shaco is that he just, he might, and there is a chance that he will become absolutely useless. Like, again, our comp sucks. It really does. We need to, like, do stuff. Like a Blitz Crank Hook or something just to initiate. Or like we just take this fight. This might not be bad. If we if we can get there. Yeah, this is really good actually. Maokai went in at a really bad time. Oh, Blitzcrank missed his hook. Oh! Uh, wait, he didn't even use his hook. What the hell did I hear? Okay. Go, go, go. Up, 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 up. <sighs> we knew they were there. Slow motion. This game, the reason why I might be a little bit quiet this game is because this is the decider and, like, there is a chance that I will get um, put up to Platinum 3, but I only think if we win this promo. If we fail this promo and then win the net, like get back in promo, I don't think we'll skip next time. So, I'm, I really want to win this game. It's going to be Xerath's and then, um, oh. Oh, mid. Um, Zerus and Zonyas, because Zonyas again is going to be relatively important this game. Ooh. Shaco? It is not the visions that haunt me. They are overextending quite a lot here. She just ran into death. He's not dead. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, Shoko's health. Oh my god, he lived on like nothing. Oh, double soul. And Shoko's dead. Well, I guess that's what he gets for being on that health. Uh oh. Oh, I should have flashed. To be fair, he had a lot of confidence to do that. Just dogpile him. Dogpile! You can't do much if like, if people just jump on his face. The weakness of Aurelian is if people get within his circle, he's literally worthless, practically. Okay. Messy, but it's fine. Wait, Kaiser hit that. God, if she had ultimate. I guess it's not that long range, but... Wind's Mountain. Probably want that. Considering it's good. Right, I've got two souls. Before Mountain, I'd like to get to five, but I've got 30 seconds until my ult anyway. 
Um, a voice. I'd love blue, but I don't think I can make that detour before dragon. Like, in reality, we really shouldn't let them... Okay, Kindred's in there, so yeah, this should be fine for us. Because, again, they obviously, they got an Inf Infernal for free earlier. We don't really want to be giving up all the dragons. Please don't take blue as a team up. Wait, Blitzcrank got that. Nice, dude. Not nice. It was a good pick, but then I think he went a little bit too much. Yeah. He should have run as soon... Or ran. As soon as he got that first kill, it was really good. Really good pick. Run. Because, like, the whole enemy team was there. If my team were actually with me, would have could have could have killed Kindred instantly, and then I would have been able to, like have it, had enough time to run as well. But because I had to like stay to kill her, I didn't have enough time to run as well as kill her. It's still worth technically because we got the top lane tier two while it was all going on. Ooh. So yeah, Aurelian is pretty much the only one on their team that is like of any significance this game. And he went Rower, by the way, and then Riley. I still don't know why he's got Dark Seals. But, yeah. Okay, I've got three souls. Um, I don't know what our next team fight is going to be. Baron? Maybe? Like, we've, if, if he starts shrooming it, then potentially... I wonder. Never make a bargain with a demon. But you intend to Oh god. Got another soul. Shaco's bot lane, which is a little bit odd. I do so enjoy explaining things to idiots. Are they doing this? Oh. Yeah, that's what we get for having Shaco bot lane, I guess. Uh. Jesus. Again, the one thing I've said in the past is the only reason that I'd ever want voice chat is to ask people the question, why? It's the only ever reason. Because there was not an answer to that. They just literally got Baron for free. Hmm, she knows. I have already walked the halls of death in the immortal bastion. That's a good kill. Again, anyone you can kill while Bar they have Baron, it slows them completely. I could kill them all. So that is quite good. But again, it's annoying. This game's been odd. I know I've probably been in, in a more bad mood this episode than normal. Mainly because some of the picks. Well, this one, but... And again, some people point out he's doing fine. I know. And I know it's a, a dumb thing to get angry over. I just i have always really hated everything about Teemo. To me, you're not really just... You're not playing League if you're playing Teemo. But I should probably stop talking because I'm just going to trigger people. I'm not here to trigger people. If we counter push with their Baron... Like, they've got Baron and we're pushing. It's pretty good. Oh, 
Stop at least one of the. Oh, Jesus. He got instant flashed on. Kendra doesn't. Uh, Kaiser doesn't have ult. I think Shaker went for the wrong target, by the way. Uh, go for the Aurelian. He is the threat. Yeah, he was the threat. Like, he was very close to death and Shaco didn't even go for him. So he would have just died instantly, I'm pretty sure. So unfortunately, Shaco just went for the wrong guy. Yeah, you don't need to kill the Kaiser, though. Like, the Kaiser's doing damage, sure, but... Not as much as the Aurelian. Well, I didn't get his soul. Oh, no, I did get his soul. That's the annoying thing as well, is because we keep dying at really dumb places. That's another Infernal Dragon for them. Like, we're slowly losing this game. I was born a patrician. I became a soldier. We need to be on the same side if we want to try and take this dragon. This is risky. Where's our jungler? Oh, he got it. Ooh. I need to watch that back. What happened? I have no idea what happened. I was like, oh, Kindred's got it. He must have been in the pit with me and I just didn't see him. All right. A three, it's a three for three and we got Infernal. So technically it's worth. But Jesus. I, I was so sure we, had, we didn't get that dragon because I saw Kindred come in as the, the dragon died. I was like, oh, God. I don't know. Blitzcrank needed to get in there and R. He one shot her. But like a better way of that happening would be uh, Blitzcrank get in the middle, press R, so then Maokai wouldn't have been able to do anything. Obviously nothing happened anyway, so it's fine. But if you're talking about min-max and perfect play, yeah. Let's go take blue. So all I am this game really is I'm a, a pinata. As I'm like, kill me instead of others and my team can kind of pick off stuff. And I guess it's good that I went the more tanky Swain build because, you know, I stay alive longer. Um, again, it's not ideally the job that I want to be doing on new Swain, but it's the game. It's the it's the job I need to do this game if I want to win. Okay, Kindred's like up here. Timo like one shot her. The one thing I will say I love about Swain W, I don't love it as an ability, but I love its herding potential. You literally don't need to land it. You can literally just put it somewhere and people want to avoid it. And it's so big that it's such a good herding tool. Um, this Mark guy said some very questionable plays this game. That's definitely one of them. Going in alone. Okay. Ooh, that looked close. That hit. Yeah, we can't do much more than that. I reckon... Oh. <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> Let's do Baron now. That was actually really good. That was like a great pick. 
I'm tempted to stay not at the Baron itself, because again, like I mentioned, I'm a pinata. I'm a distraction, so I can stop people quite efficiently. So I've even got Zonyas and stuff. Aurelian's just trying to play alone, I guess. Got him. That was a good W hit. Good, good, good. He's going to lose the game as well, but, like, not by himself, but, like, he's trying to play Lone Wolf. Again, one of the problems with Aurelian is that I'm not a massive fan of the champion, but one of the problems with him, he's not very good. At solo carrying games because he's so like slow like we're well, not slow he's like encumbersome that like he needs a big area like let's fight here team and it's not great if he's trying to do that by himself he needs a team that kind of protects him a little bit more than an average mid laner i'd say well not really an average mid laner he just he just yeah he just doesn't solo carry that well so yeah Does that really not know he was slowed? Because again, he's obviously he's a um, we are at war. he's a movement based forget. champion. But yeah. Well, the mistake that this Aurelian keeps doing is he keeps do um, pressing E, which is obviously his movement um, spell. Oh, we need to get back in, Kindred Ult. I'm too strong now. I knew eventually I'd be able to show up to this game. Finally was able to. As I mentioned right at the beginning of the game though, Aurelian is like one of the best, if not the best person against Swain in mid lane. So I knew I was in for a rough time and then the Teemo pick, I'll admit it got me in a bad mood. Which it probably shouldn't, but again, sometimes you just can't help when you're in a bad mood, huh? So there we go. We now get to find out if we get promoted or not. Uh, it like, well, obviously we're getting promoted, but we get we get to find out what we get promoted to. So, again, with high MMR, usually you can skip. Uh, either you uh, you skip the promo entirely, which we didn't. So we might just, the options are we just have we just get promoted normal. Uh, we just get promoted normal to platinum four, or we skip to platinum three. Place your bets now. I'm going to give that to the Shaco. Let's see. Hey! Yes! We skipped a Platinum 3. Oh my god. Look at that guy. So, uh, the mask, you know, literally. Again, the way that I always deal with people that have this type of attitude is, again, some people will disagree with me here. He must have some type of mental condition. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but a normal person doesn't do that. So, yes, I still think he should get punished and banned. Well, really perma-banned for that type of thing. But he must have some type of problem. Or he's just the most socially inactive person ever and just doesn't know that's not a good thing to do. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's a bit of a, a bummer to the, the episode. I will be passing that forward. And if, if you guys, you know, you can do stuff, as you can report that as well. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. But you can submit tickets about things you see in videos. It is a thing you can do. Uh, we went 7716 assists, by the way. We had the most assists in the game. So we were we were heavily involved in this game, but just by assists. Moved to Platinum 3. He got a B and then damage done. Doing second most of my team. Teemo does the most. Aurelian does the most there. The Kindred had a really bad game. Shaco not doing terribly. Losing a little bit more. That's honestly pretty good. Um, again, a lot of people are going to see, like, what do you think of Teemo now, Huz? I I've played LOL for years. I'm used to Teemo's doing okay. I just personally really dislike them um but that's gonna be it we got promoted uh i'm really happy sorry if i was really like overly stressed this episode i actually feel a little bit warm and i might be a bit red uh but yeah that was stressful because i'm pretty damn sure if we failed this promo and we got back into promotion series i don't think i would have skipped to platinum three 
So uh, thankfully we did though. So again, if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on the video. Let me know down below any of your thoughts. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, like, click the bell because apparently you need to do that now. And I'll see you guys next time.